Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ivan Ramy from Bot and Cop Bot Support back again with another video. This video, we're going to cover my stellar setup for Best Buy consoles and GPU drops. Make sure to watch my previous videos, which I cover Walmart, Target, GameStop, and other sites. These videos are based off our written guides that we have in the group. If you haven't joined Bot and Cop already, right now is the time. We're still offering a free three day trial for new members. Bond Cop has the monitors and alerts for every site such as Amazon, Walmart, Target, Best Buy, which will notify you the second high demand items are in stock. We have all the guides and one-on-one -on -one bot support you need to succeed. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the setup. So with Best Buy, you'll need some sessions, also known as accounts, for each of the account you're running. So let's go ahead and make a session fresh with you guys so the first thing you'll need to bring up is your um, Best Buy account on the actual web page so here I have it up um, when I go to uh, you would go to account and then it'll bring you to the screen and then go to account settings and then the big thing you want to do now with Best Buy is go ahead and click manage two-step verification um, let me disable this. So if you have this already up, um, you'll need to disable this and then this should this code should be on the app that you set it up if you have already, but I'm going to go ahead and disable this and start fresh. All right, so now let's go ahead and go to OK, so now you'll see this screen if you haven't set it up already. It's going to ask you to set it up by text message or by the app. Choose the app because it's the most efficient way to get those codes and Stellar has a way to automatically put that code in for you. So it definitely will help you out when you're trying to cop a PS5 or a GPU. So I'm going to go ahead and click get codes by app. Now it's going to give me a QR code to scan with my phone. Um, right here it will tell you you can use Google Authenticator or Duo Mobile something like that so you can scan it and then get that six digit code but before you do that make sure you grab this key right here because you'll need it later for stellar so i'm going to paste this into a notepad all right so once you get that go ahead and scan it with your app so give me a second while i scan it perfect so now it's going to ask for that six digit code And then it's going to also give you some backup codes. Go ahead and just copy these and then paste them somewhere safe as well. And that's it. You can uh, return to account or just exit out this page for right now. So let's go ahead and make a session. So all you have to do is go to uh, the sessions tab and then click add session. Uh, and the name, I usually just name it what the email is. You can name it whatever you want. There we go. So now it's going to ask you for the email. And then the password. Um, real quick, actually, with your password, you have to be um, careful on what you choose because Stellar will not accept some passwords. So I'm going to go ahead and link the guide below with where it details what you can have in your password and what Stellar will accept because it will be picky so I'm gonna go ahead and link that down below so you guys can see that but go ahead and also enter a proxy especially if you're on a server you'll want a proxy that way you don't get clipped right away and then finally you'll need your your key that you just copied from the website so I got that in there and then all you would do with this is click request click save and now it says ready to log in. So you're probably wondering why is it not logged in yet? Well, you first have to make a task for it to actually work. So let's go ahead and jump into our task group. Got a test already set up. Let's create, create. Q mode. So most hype items are going to be Q mode, including GPUs and PS5s. So go ahead and use that. And I'll go ahead and click this demo. And then we 
make this bigger for you guys. Q mode, and then again, choose. Um, one thing to know actually is so this profile right here has the same exact email as our session that I just created. So that bot and cop 101 has that email is being used in this profile. So you have to make sure they match or else it will not associate it with an S session. So go ahead and put um, some proxies. I would recommend some ISPs. I can I can link below what I use. I use Oculus Release Premium ISPs. And then finally get the SKU. We can go ahead and come back here. Let's go ahead and get a test item, Echo Dot. And let's grab this right here. Perfect. So I got that skew from the Echo Dot. Delay, it can be pretty low because you're running these during a drop. And um, if you're wondering how do I know when a drop is happening, you'll have to get notifications from your cook group. And they'll have those monitors that I said before. Um, and they'll ping you when to start task or when they're dropping. So if, once again, if you don't have a cook group yet, I would highly recommend to join Botancop. And then quantity, you can put one. Max weight, you can play around with this, but I've, I've seen more success around 400 to 500. So I'm going to go ahead and do 400. And then finally, should pre-log in. So I did have issues when I did not choose this. It might be your issues as well. Um, so go ahead and click should pre-log in, at least for your first run. And then checkout type. So there's three different checkout types it's offering. Requests can be full automatic checkout. But the thing is, it's a little bit um, not as stable as you'd want it to be. So I'd advise you to um, not fully go too deep with requests. Maybe put some accounts with the request mode. But for the most part, I found more success with browser, which will bring it to um, a Google Chrome or whatever you have as your default web browser it'll bring that up and have it in your cart and all you have to do is finish the checkout most people use this method as well as harvester which will bring the same concept except for it's in the bot it's a web browser in the bot but i think web browser mode is the most efficient but once again if you want to play around with all of these go feel free but what i found more uh more stable and more successful is browser mode so I'm going to go ahead and click browser. And then, of course, um, those hype items are going to be pickup most of the time. So go ahead and pick pickup. And then this radius is going to depend on where you live. Um, for me, I'll put 40. And yeah, so um, per skew, I would actually recommend around 3 to 5 per skew. Um, this really depends on how many accounts you're running as well. You don't want to go too overboard as long as you have enough ISPs, like one-to-one -one ratio at least um, for each of your tasks. So for this, I'll just do five, just, just an example, but I'll only be running one of these for right now. So let's go ahead and click start. So it's going to say here 2FA. There you go. So you see how quick that was? It was waiting for 2FA and it automatically put that code in and it's already opened the browser for me. This is really important to uh, follow those steps that I just said earlier because uh, it's definitely going to increase the times, uh, the time you have to uh, check out because most of the time people are either waiting for a code on their email or text and it's just not going through. So by setting that up ahead of time, you're really setting yourself up for success. And then also having multiple accounts will help you a lot. So here you go, um, that Echo Dot is already in my car. I'm already logged in as well. So that's why I recommend uh, you to uh, set it up as that. So if I go back here, let's go to return cart. So you'll see right here I'm logged in. I could even go back to checkout if I wanted to. If you uh, if you see a bug war where, um, where it's not letting you, uh, let me bring this back up. So some bugs I saw, it says delivery not set. That's why I recommend you to uh, log in before. Stellar will say just to be careful with this because, you know, you're logging in and you're putting your account out there for them for Best Buy to see. So just be careful with that. But honestly, I've been, I have not had problems with this.
But if you see this and you're not logged in, um, go ahead and just click return cart like I did. And then you would have to just re-log in. But other than that, I think that's really it. Um, once again, just to cover over, cover over what the main key points are is ISPs. Those work best. Make sure to put an ISP as a proxy when you have a session. If you can, those will help you a lot. And also set up that 2FA That'll help you a lot for um, actually copying and being fast and efficient. So hopefully this video helps clear up the mud. Um, also, just try to just try an echo dot like I did as well, just to see if you have any errors. If so, um, just um, just you know if you're in the group or if you want like, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out. But that's basically it. I started fresh with that. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And thank you for watching.